Hey everyone, welcome back to Atomic News TV. Um, I have my new camera and I can just tell by what I'm videoing right now that it is so much better. It is so much better. I have the Galaxy S9 Plus and so the camera and the video quality is so much better. <laughs> so I look forward to making some much better videos for you guys. But anyway, I do have a quick subject that I want to talk about. <laughs> the whole Me Too movement again. Um, and Michelle Obama. Okay, so on my lunch break, I always read Yahoo News. Always. Um, and I read an article today in regards to Michelle. Michelle? Michelle. <laughs> That just came out by accident, I swear. Michelle Obama. Michelle. <laughs> and how she is angry and upset about how the Me Too movement has not progressed more. Um, <laughs> we all know what I have to say about that, right? Um... She says, there's been a lot of changes, but there hasn't been a lot of changes or something of that nature. And I was like, well, what the what does that mean? <laughs> that just contradicts itself right there. Um, but basically she's saying that she wanted the Me Too movement to go much farther. So what you're saying is you want a whole bunch of people to come out and accuse men of uh, sexual assault with no evidence. That's pretty much what she's saying. Oh, now my camera holder is like, I can't hold the weight of this new phone. It's so big. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, so I was like, you're pretty much saying you want more people to accuse people of sexual assault. Kind of like the whole Kavanaugh thing, right? They have no evidence or no proof of anything. That's pretty much what she's saying. And then she, she said, she's tired or no, that, that women are tired of being undervalued, disregarded, and voices not being heard. What country does she live in? Because I'm pretty sure that's not here. Um, the whole, like, inequality for wages. Okay, let me just use myself as an example. Because... Um, I'm a veterinary assistant and in my field I can guarantee that if a man came in and applied for the same job that I'm doing he is not going to get paid any more than me sorry it's not going to happen okay and let's just say we'll use like a bottom of the barrel job here okay we'll say McDonald's. Some dude at McDonald's applies to be a cashier and some chick applies to be a cashier. Okay, focus. My camera couldn't focus there. Hello. Um, it's getting used to me. <laughs> um, so two people, a man and a woman, apply for the same job, cashier job at McDonald's. They're not going to have any pay difference. I'm sorry. No. That's a load of bullshit right there. Okay, now let's go to the higher up job. Let's say like an executive. Oh, my camera needs to focus. Hello, I'm right here. Um, an executive job. Okay, maybe there we might get some wage inequality. But overall, It's pretty much not an issue, at least in my opinion. I don't know. Sound off below in the comments and tell me what you think. Um, have you ever encountered any wage inequality where you felt a man who did the same exact job um, got paid more than you because he's a man? Oh my God, I'm going to go blind. I cannot see. I'm so sorry <laughs> that I keep having to deal with this while I'm trying to film. And like right now, you can't even see the top half of my face. Awesome! But <laughs> um, let me know if you've run into any of anything like that or if you know of somebody that has because I just don't see it like at all, especially 
in my field, and I've been in a lot of different jobs. I'm a veterinary assistant now, but I've been a retail store manager. Um, I've been a benefits administrator for the biggest law firm in Arizona. Um, you know, I've done a lot of things. Um, and I just don't see it. So let me know if you see it. And then I definitely don't think that women are being disregarded. They're just being held to the same standards as men. I mean, and what's wrong with that? That's what they want, right? That's what, that's what women want is to be treated equally, right? You know, we want, you know, women to be held to the same accountability as men. So if a man accused a woman of assault and had no evidence, they'd be laughing their asses off at, at, at that man. And you can't tell me they wouldn't. They'd be like, oh, pfft, he's a man. Mm-hmm. No. If he had no evidence, they would write that man off in two seconds. So guess what? If a woman comes forward with allegations and has no proof, they should get the same treatment. They're not being disregarded. They're being held accountable is what they are. Just the same as if it was a man. So women need to stop their bitching about feeling disregarded. Well, maybe you just have a problem with yourself and it's not other people having a problem with you you have a problem with yourself and that's why you feel that way people can't control how you feel or react to things that's up to you so I I definitely think that their voices are being heard too I mean for her to say that we're tired of our uh, of our voices not being heard where are we not being heard? What country? Because it ain't here. Um, I'm pretty sure Senator Flake heard those women in the elevator. And I'm pretty sure the whole entire, uh, you know, courtroom could hear everybody screaming every 30 seconds um, and banging on the doors. And the protesters, pretty sure they got heard. But see, the thing is, they're being held accountable. And these protesters can't hold them accountable for shit other than being an asshole and then these people that are making allegations without um, any proof they're being held accountable don't have the proof sorry you know you can't it's come on so Michelle Obama Michelle <laughs> um, that is a load of shit that whole article is a load of shit, in my opinion. You know, it's this whole, it's, it's a fake war. It's a fake war against sexes is what, is what it is. A fake war against sexes. Just like the, fe the racial war is fake. It's fake. It was created to create chaos in this country and to create momentum for a certain political agenda it doesn't exist I mean you can't I mean there are racists out there there are there always will be you cannot stop it it will never you can never eradicate racism it's never gonna happen but it does not exist on the level that they think it does nope it's all a load of shit so the whole racial racism war is a load of shit the whole you know getting the sexes against each other that's a load of shit and Michelle Obama just spit out a whole load of shit <laughs> those are my thoughts for today so um, let me know what you think about the whole Me Too movement that should have stopped the minute it started <laughs> um, I heard there was a uh, movement called Him Too yeah um, where men are fighting back go do it um, I totally think you should um, but let me know what you think in the comments below if you like my video hit the like button hit subscribe and hit that bell icon because I talk about everything I talk about news I talk about uh, conspiracy theories <laughs> I talk about the beauty community um, I talk about my medical conditions and surgeries like I shit I'll talk about anything 
life's too short not to talk about whatever's on your mind and say it the way it is. Don't sugarcoat it. Um, that's just the way I feel. All right, guys. Um, thanks for watching my first video with my new phone and new camera. Oh, it is so much better. It is so much better. Sorry about all the sun. Yeah. Um, you guys have a good night and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.